This is Sridhar from WPDevDesign.com. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how we can set up a off canvas side menu in Oxygen. Here is a demo page that I've set up to see how this works. Clicking on the hamburger menu icon is going to slide open the side menu from left to right, and it can be closed by clicking on the X here. Okay, so I have already written a tutorial on how to do this, um, but the steps. So let's, uh, let's get started. Okay, what first I'm going to do is um, create a duplicate of the home page that uh, I could use to uh, preview what we are building. So I have duplicate post plugin installed and activated. So I'm just going to click on new draft under home. And I will call this something like um, say off canvas demo page. Okay, I'm going to delete the slug and hit return. So it gets auto generated by WordPress. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna hit publish. Okay, so let's go to oxygen templates. And I'm going to create a brand new template and call this off canvas menu. Okay, and I do not want to inherit anything from any other template. And I'm also not going to apply this to any views in WordPress because I want to apply this just to a single page for now, since this is a test site. But um, ideally, you might want to just uh, do this process in the main template. Okay, I'm gonna hit update and edit this with Oxygen. All right, so let's, uh, what's the first step? The first step is to create a structure like this. We need to have the side menu at the top level and a panel. Both these are div elements and they sit next to each other. And at the same level is a code block. So I'm going to bring up the structure uh, interface, go to add, add a new div and I'm going to rename this div by clicking on this uh, hamburger here and change clicking rename. So let's call this um, side menu. Okay, so inside that I need to have one more uh, div. So I'm gonna hit add div and expand this change the name of this inner to side menu inner div. Okay. So inside the side menu inner wrap, just uh, change this to wrap. It doesn't really matter it's just for um, easily identifying this element. So inside this uh, div is where we need to place all the all the content of the side menu. Okay, so let me just add a heading and uh, I'm gonna call this navigation. And 
you might want to set a width to the side menu otherwise it's going to just appear 100 percent wide so let's say we set this to 300 pixels okay now i'm going to select the heading element and change the font size so it's not so big okay and um also for the side menu we can set a background color so we can easily see it so i'm gonna set something like uh, black okay and when we do this we also need to set the color of the text to something lighter so i'm gonna go to typography and change the set the color to white okay and okay let's uh, give some padding to the side menu in a wrap element so i'm gonna go to advanced go to size and spacing and then for the padding at the top and bottom let's say 30 left and right 20. okay and um, i'm gonna add a menu element it doesn't really matter uh, what appears inside it it's basically entirely up to your site um, for this tutorial though i'm just going to go to wordpress and hit menu and that puts the menu which is horizontal so i'm going to make it vertical and i do not want these drop downs so i'll go to drop downs and disable them and i do not want the the background color when we hover so i'm going to go back to all styles and hover and active and delete the background color and the border at the top and um, i'll set the our text color to white okay and i'm going to go back to the side menu and change the color of text to uh, light gray instead of white so that the text will be light gray whereas uh, the menu items i actually want these things to be white Okay, and when I hover, I want these to be, uh, let's say, e -E -E. I'm not sure how that looks, but you can always go and change it to how you want. Okay, so we have the heading, we have the menu. Let me just add a text um, element, and I'm going to increase the spacing move it down a bit and next i'm going to add some social icons by going to help us and clicking on social icons okay i'm going to set these to be circle and for them to use the brand colors and reduce the size a bit to say 40 and increase the space a bit like that and add some margin above the social icons so they don't appear so close to the text element okay so i have almost designed my side menu the only thing that we need to do is to add a close icon here so i'm going to go back to add basics icon and in font awesome the close icon is not really something that i like because it is kind of uh, fat i wanted something more trim so we can get that inside linear icons and if you do a search for close it's not going to come up uh, Yeah, 
here it is cross okay so i've got the cross icon here i'm going to change the color to say ddd reduce the font size a bit okay and we want to move this to the top right okay before we do that we need to basically make this a link because uh, we want the hand cursor to appear when somebody puts their mouse on this icon on desktops so i'm going to click on this uh, link icon and just set the link to a hash like a placeholder okay and this link wrapper i'm going to move this to the top right by going to um, advanced layout and we will set this to be absolutely positioned at top right so at the top let's say i want it to be 15 pixels from the top and I want this 15 pixels from the right edge. But as you can see, it's moving all the way to the right. So we need to basically set this inner wraps position to relative. So the X icon is relative to that um, element. So I'm, I'm selecting the side menu inner wrap, going to advanced, <clears throat> going to um, layout and set the position to relative okay so let me save this all right i just want to quickly scan through the steps that i wrote and make sure that i have not missed anything Ah, okay this is the part i missed so for the navigation menu um, if you go to mobile responsive it's going to basically uh, become or collapse into a hamburger at smaller widths and we don't want that so i'm going to select this to set this to never so the mobile menu will should never appear for this menu okay all right let's uh, move on to the structure and next we are going to create what we are going to do is create a panel div so i'm going to select the body element add a div uh, set the name to panel and set that i have my header inner content and the footer so i'm just going to go to the library go to atomic go to sections and elements and headers and uh, i'm going to add that header okay so if you notice it's it's not basically taking the full width it's just stopping here so let's select the panel element and for the horizontal item alignment we'll set it to stretch so that stretches this 100 percent of the width <clears throat> okay next i'm going to add a inner content element and yeah it's currently showing the home page but uh, let me just uh, preview the off canvas demo page it's it's still the same content because it's just a duplicate page okay and below the inner content i would like to add a footer uh, let's say I add that footer okay and since I already have my uh, navigation in the side menu I do not want that to appear in my header 
So I'm going to delete uh, that particular element. OK. So what we'll do next is to replace the social icons with the hamburger menu. So I'm going to select that, hit delete, and go back to the basics and add a icon. OK, I'm going to select Set this to menu. Nope. Nope. Let me just go to linear icons and select for menu. Okay, I'd like to add that. Let's change the color to white <clears throat> and decrease the size a bit. Okay, and Let's wrap this thing in a hyperlink. So I'm going to click on that and enter hash at the link. OK, let's save it. OK, so I'm done with step one. Let's take a look at step two. OK. So we need to basically load a slider.min.js file in the footer of your site. And one way that this can be done is by using a custom functionality plugin. Um, I have provided a link here. You can click on that and set it up. I already have it installed in the site. So let me just show it to you. So um, you can see I have my custom functionality plugin installed. And to make changes to the uh, PHP code in this plugin, you go to editor. You can also do this through FTP. And you select the plugin from here. And then you can see plugin.php is the main file. And you need to add that line. So you could um, yeah. So this is the plugin directory and inside this is the plugins directory. Inside that is an assets. Inside that, inside that is a JS directory. And this is where you place the JavaScript file. So in this case, I have it here, slide.min.js. After that, we use the wpnq script function to load it in the footer. OK. So um, step A is done. Let's go to B. One thing that we forgot to do is to set up this code block um, element. So in the template, with the body element selected, I'm going to add a code block element. And that puts this hello world here, which is annoying. So let's first comment it out. So that removes that. OK. So in the CSS panel of the code block element, we need to add that CSS. So with the code block element, I'm going to go back to CSS and paste that CSS. And in the JavaScript panel, we need to add this code. So I'm going to go back to all styles, JavaScript. So what we are doing here is um, basically declaring a variable, constant variable called slide out. And we are specifying that the panel is this particular div. And the menu is this particular div. And the padding is 300 is what you want the site menu width to be. So if you want to increase the width of your site menu, this is where you change it. Uh, I'm not sure what tolerance is. You can go through the link that I've provided in my article 
for the configuration options and have a read over there. And if you want, we can also specify that the side menu appears from the right of the screen rather than the left of the screen, which was the default. Okay, so let me just uh, collapse. Oh, before I do that, you see these errors on code syntax server, you can just ignore them. So just collapse and save it. <clears throat> okay, so for the hamburger icons link wrapper, we need to add this JS. So the hamburger is in the header. So I select that and make sure that I am currently selected, have selected the link wrapper. So go to advanced JavaScript and paste. Okay, let's see what this code does. So what we are saying is, so uh, this entire thing is basically a placeholder or a dynamic variable that refers to the ID of the current element. So we are saying that when this hamburger menu icon is clicked, okay, then e dot prevent default. What this will do is it will basically um, stop the default behavior of the link, uh, which is to add the hash in the browser address bar, and then slide out. So if the slide out is already is closed, it's going to open up. If it is already open, it is going to be closed. And the way that uh, JavaScript works in Oxygen is that every time you um, make some changes in here in this code editor, it is going to add this uh, several times in the back end. So to prevent that, we need to basically disable that at the front, at the beginning. Okay, let's collapse it. And for the close menu icons link wrapper, we need to add this JS. So the close menu icon is here. And again, make sure that you are in the link wrapper for that item. And in the advanced JavaScript and paste. Okay, collapse and save. Okay, that should be it. So let's go back to the admin. And I'm gonna go back to pages. Go to the off canvas demo page. And well, nothing is happening because or nothing is appearing because this page is not using the template that we have just created. So I'm going to edit this page and select my off canvas menu template and update. Reload the page. And this is not supposed to happen. Okay, I know why. I have not included a few steps in this tutorial by mistake. So I'm gonna correct that. But what needs to happen is that in the template, um, so let me just edit the template. We need to set um, side hyphen menu class to the side menu and panel class to the panel. Okay, so
Okay, so I have selected the inner wrap. So let me just go one level up. And I'm on the side menu. I'm going to give it a class called uh, side hyphen menu. And for the panel, let me just go to the structure. So for the panel, I'm going to give a class of panel. Okay, save it. Let's view the page. Okay. So let's take a look. You click on the hamburger. You can see that it slides open. You can hit the X, it goes away. The reason why the close menu icon is not appearing is because of the admin bar. So I, uh, let me just uh, get rid of the admin bar. Okay, so you hit the hamburger icon, the menu opens up, it shows the side menu that we have designed in Oxygen. You hit X, it gets closed. Okay, that's it. Um, it's also possible to, to have a, a background layer on top of this page on the panel when it opens up. And that when you hit anywhere here, you know, the menu gets closed. You can find the code for that over here. You might want to follow that if that's what you want to do. Okay, that's it. And hope you like this tutorial. Bye.